Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to add in a SBUS receiver and get telemetry working. Not only will I cover how to wire everything, but I'm also going to take in a beta flight and show you how to set everything up. I'll be using the FreeSky XSR for this demonstration, but this also works on the X4R SB and any other SBUS receiver. So first, let's locate the UARTs. We have UART number 6 right here, UART number 1 here, and technically UART number 3 is going to be these two pads here. Um, but instead of using these two pads, because we don't need it, we'll be using both of these connectors. With the F3 flight controllers, they have inverters on all three of the UARTs, but the F4 boards, they only have one hardware inverter, which is located right here, and it's tied into UART number 6. The FreeSky receivers, uh, the signal is inverted, so we need to invert the signal again to uninvert it. Therefore, we will be placing our SBUS signal wire on UART number 6, Receive. And then if you want telemetry, we will use this connector, but there is no inverter on this connector. So we have to invert it ourselves. But before we get too far, let's go ahead and connect the SBUS signal wire and power and ground. Whenever you purchase this flagging chore, you may have received a couple connectors like this. Be aware that the color codes are wrong. Uh, I've already swapped mine around. Uh, for example, black was over here, red was where the blue wire is now, and so on and so on. Uh, if you do want to swap the wires, just take a razor blade, lift these tabs up, and pull the wires out individually, and then connect them back in in the correct order. Here's the wiring diagram that came with this flight controller. We see that ground is going to be the bottom pins, the uh, 5 volt uh, power pin is going to be the pin above that, and then we have receive and transmit. For UART number 6, this is where we are placing the uh, SBUS signal wire, and you need a receive on a UART for that, for the receivers. So we will be using this third pin from the bottom, or second pin from the top, however you want to look at this pin right here. For telemetry, telemetry needs a transmit. So on this connector, we will be using the very top pin. Alright, I've gone ahead and spliced uh, one of these connectors into this receiver. Uh, normally I would keep it a lot shorter and cleaner looking, but I'm not actually going to use one of these receivers on this flight controller. I use Turnergy products. Uh, but anyway, regardless of which receiver you're using, go ahead and find the power and ground pins or pads or whatever it may be. And I have the red and black wire going to the red and black wire on this connector. Like I said, I've already rearranged these wires on this connector so they are in the correct order. And then find your SBUS wire for this uh, FreeSky XSR. It's going to be the white wire. And um, just by the way, you XSR guys, you have a green wire as well. That is for PPM, and you will never use PPM. So just completely remove that wire. You will never need it. Um, now for everyone else, like I said, find your SBUS wire. And I place my SBUS wire on this blue pin. So now we've got ground power and SBUS. The fourth wire, if we plug it into this connector, like I said, that is going to be UART number six, transmit. But UART ports can only do one thing at a time, and that is why we cannot put telemetry on this transmit pin. Telemetry does need a transmit pin, but you, like I said, the UART can only do one thing at a time, and we're using this one for the receiver. Now let's talk about telemetry. Because we need to connect telemetry to this connector, uh, and this connector does not have the hardware inverter, we have to invert it ourselves. If you do have a FreeSky XSR, if you look on the back side, there's a little SMD right here, and you want to solder a wire to the pin on the back side of it. There's one pin by itself. On the other side, there's two pins, but we want the one on the back side, so solder wire directly to that. If you have a X4RSB, I'll flash a picture on your screen of what it looks like. Uh, so now that everyone has a wire soldered on to the back side of this to get the non-inverse telemetry signal, you can use whatever color wire you want. I'm using this black wire, and this black wire is running to the second connector, and I've got it going to the yellow wire. So once I plug this connector in, like I said, the very top pin is the UART number one transmit. These three other wires, you can completely remove them. You don't need them for anything, which I should have done for this video just to keep this less confusing, but I didn't think about it. So 
I could just cut all three of these off if I wanted to because this is the only wire we need. So now coming from our receiver, we have ground and power, which will power it. This blue wire is my SBUS wire, which is the third pin from the bottom. And then we've got telemetry on this very top pin on the other connector. If we plug in a USB cable to the flight controller, that will uh, provide five volts to all the five volt power pins, which will power this receiver, but we need to bind it. Just by the way, if you do need any information, additional information whatsoever, I will leave you links to my Tyrannus QX7 video series with like 20 something videos in there where you'll find all the information you need. I also have a Tyrannus X9D playlist. And uh, so just check that stuff out. If you have any questions about any type of receiver, you will probably find your uh, answer to your question in the, one of those playlists. So I'm going to power this on. Hey JC, welcome back. Now I'm going to page over, scroll up, which will take me to the bottom of the page. For these SBUS receivers, uh, they use D16 mode, channels 1 to 16. And then I will do click bind. You have to be holding this button in as you power this up. So I will go ahead and press the button down and then plug in the USB as I'm holding it in. I get the uh, solid green and solid red light and then when I release the button I get solid green and flashing red which means uh, we're good to go so now press bind again on your transmitter to make it stop binding disconnect the USB reconnect the USB and you should now get a solid green light oh nasty things are about to get real if you get the solid green light, then this means it has been properly bound and everything is working. If you have a red light and a green light, that means the firmware between your transmitter and the receiver is conflicting and you have to change firmware. Once again, look in my video series for the uh, Trans X9D and QX7 and you'll find out how to do that. Now with everything connected, bound, ready to go, let's go into Betaflight, connect. Uh, first, let's go to ports, and because I put the SBUS wire on UART 6, I will turn on Serial RX for UART 6. And then because I put telemetry on UART 1 under telemetry output, click this. Um, these, the X series of Free Sky receivers, uh, like I said, I don't know about you Spectrum guys, but uh, it's not Free Sky telemetry, it's actually a smart port. So select smart port if you are using a SBUS receiver and then save and reboot. And then reconnect. Let's go to configuration. Choose serial based receiver and then SBUS. Save and reboot again. Reconnect. Go to the receiver tab. Move your joysticks around. Roll pitch yaw into throttle. It should be moving on your screen. And if you have created any switches, you can test those out now. If they are not working, then uh, either you wired something in wrong, you selected the incorrect UART port, the receiver is not properly bound, or the other thing is going to be, uh, at the time you're recording this video, the newest version of firmware, uh, which by the way, this flight controller does use the Omnibus F4 firmware, and the newest one is 3.1.7. The hardware inverter does not work with 3.1.7. Well, at least the last time I checked, when I did the DYS F4 flight controller video series, it was not working. I have not tested it, so it might be working now. I'm just saying uh, I am using 3.1.6 and it's working for me. So you might want to go with 3.1.6 until there is a newer version of firmware. Uh, so if you are watching this video at a later date in the future and there is something newer than 0.7, then they probably have fixed the problem by then. Also, uh, you want to check, uh, just go to the CLI, type in set SBUS, and make sure that SBUS inversion is turned on. It should be turned on by default, but I say this because in the future I can't predict what they're going to do with the versions of firmware. They might make it turn off for whatever reason. In that case, type set SBUS underscore inversion space equals space on and then just press enter 
and if you type it in exactly right you will get this if you misspelled one character or left one space out you will get unknown command but once you get this type save and enter now let's talk about telemetry go to configuration scroll down and make sure that you have telemetry enabled save and reboot reconnect go to configuration I, I should have explained this before we saved but if you do want your voltage showing in your telemetry make sure you have VBAT enabled if you want the current sensor uh, showing in your telemetry and this flight controller does have a built-in current sensor then turn on current meter you do have to calibrate this guys. It is not guys. you do have to calibrate this It is not calibrated for you um, and if I remember I'll leave a link in the description below for my video on how to calibrate current sensors I'll also leave a video on how to calibrate voltage sensors but the voltage sensor actually is uh, almost perfectly calibrated so you shouldn't have to change that one now save and reboot okay now for you free sky guys um, I can walk you through this you spectrum guys sorry I, I don't own any spectrum transmitters hey, Welcome back. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Cheat mode active. So press the uh, menu button, go to your model, hold down the page button, hold it down again to go to the telemetry screen, and you want to scroll down to discover new sensors. Press enter, and there is your telemetry sensors. Press again to stop discovery. Now, if you scroll up, we see current as well as the other telemetry sensors but VFAST which is our voltage is not showing up if you want VFAST to show up you have to have a battery plugged into your flight controller uh, so go ahead and solder on your XC60 connector and battery leads and uh, plug in that battery and then discover new sensors again and VFAST will show up and that does it guys so I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching I'll see you again soon